Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope everyone will be fine. Today we will discuss some basic economic terms that will be beneficial for everyone. Either he can be a student or a person appearing in an competitive exam. So let's start. First of all, we have GDP. GDP stands for gross domestic product and represents the total monetary value of all final goods and services produced and sold on the market within a country during a period of time, typically one year. The second concept is gross national product. Gross national product is basically GDP plus all the income that we earn from abroad. The third one is net national product. It refers to the total market value of all final goods and services produced by the factor of production of a country or other quality during a given time period minus depreciation. The fourth concept we will discuss is trade deficit. It basically occurs when the value of a country's imports exceed the value of its exports. The fifth term is trade surplus. It is an economic measure of a positive balance of trade where a country's exports exceed its imports. Budget deficit. Budget deficit occurs when expenses exceed revenues. The seventh topic is budget surplus. It basically occurs when income exceeds expenditures. Current account deficit. It occurs when a country sends more money abroad than it receives from abroad. The ninth topic is debt to GDP ratio. It is a metric comparing a country's public debt to its gross domestic product. The tenth concept is inflation. It is a general increase in the prices of goods and services in an economy. Eleventh topic or eleventh term is unemployment. It is a term referring to individuals who are unemployable and actively seeking a job but are unable to find a job. Next is marginal utility. It refers to the amount of satisfaction a consumer has by consuming a good or service. Marginal utility can be used by economists to gauge how much of a good or service a consumer should buy. Stagflation describes an economy that is experiencing slow economic growth whilst also experiencing inflation and high level of unemployment. Capital goods items a business uses to produce goods or services to sell to consumers. Commodity Raw material or agriculture product purchased in enormous quantities for production purpose. Consumer Anyone, person or business that uses, consumes goods or services. Demand The extent to which there is a market for goods or services when a lot of people want to buy something. Demand is high. Elasticity How much an economic variable changes in response to another. Equity the amount of ownership in an asset, the equality, the equity a person has in their home in the difference between the property value and the amount owned on the mortgage, leverage, the extent to which an investment is funded with borrowed money, liquidity, the amount to which assets could quickly be converted to cash, market, any means that buyers and sellers uses to exchange money for goods or services scarcity resources or products that aren't available in unlimited quantities shift in demand when the demand for a product or service goes or down goes up or down due to factors other than a change in price supply how much is available of a particular good or service business cycle refers to expected business fluctuations through times of growth and contractions. CPI Every change in the cost to consumer of certain goods and services over a set period of time. Economic growth An increase in production of goods and services typically measured in the context of changes in GDP or GDP deflator. Income Money a business or a person earns in exchange for providing services or products to a purchaser or employer. Macroeconomics The area of economics that focuses on functioning of the overall economy 
on large scale such as globally or for a multinational region market economy economic system in government doesn't dictate prices or production instead these things are determined by producers and consumers microeconomics branch of economics that focuses on factors that impact the buying habits of individual consumers and businesses unemployment rate calculated by dividing the number of people who are not working and seeking jobs into total size of labor force at a point in time deflation the result of sustained prices in an economy indicates that the economy is weakening economic depression extended major recession that significantly impacts an entire economy inflation the degree to which there are sustained prices increases for certain items within an economy negative equity a situation in which someone owes more money on an asset than it is worth recession a significant sustained economic downturn impacting an entire economy for a fairly long period of time typically last several months stagflation economic conditions during which prices are rising over though the economy is stagnant stagnation condition in which there is a little to no economic growth consumers are hesitant to buy so demand goes down and an employment tends to climb bear market refers to economic conditions in which stock prices are dropping tends to occur when an economy is shrinking bond a debt based investment that represents a promise to pay from the bond issuer the bond issuer owes money to bond investors on a certain date bull market refers to economic conditions in which stock prices are rising futures legally binding agreement to sell or purchase a commodity at a set time in the future for a price that is specified at the time of agreement hedging seeking to protect oneself against economic fluctuations through entering into future agreements no matter what happens in the future securities any type of contract that can be valued and traded stocks and bonds are common example of securities stock an equity investment that represents ownership of a small portion of a company